What's up, family and friends? How are you doing? Welcome to the Wolf Nation. Wherever you are, living your life, enjoying your life as usual. Knowing that life is beautiful and your life is yours to live. No one else can do that for you. So I welcome you also to this first time of uh, doing life from uh, from this my new place to work. Now it takes me like five or uh, like seven minutes to work. So it's shorter than where I used to live before. As I said last the last uh, and the last video things are getting better for me and it's, it's getting better for all of us because things are supposed to be getting better for you not bad or better not better supposed to be living better enjoying better living your life better that's how it's supposed to be and uh, i hinted a little bit how my relationship with my daughter with the new place as I gave her the key of the new place, right? So, it's supposed to be so with God. God's supposed to give you key, access to everything about him, everything that belongs to him. That's how it's supposed to be, because when, when you're talking about God, you know, and you being a parent, that's the way you treat your children. Sometimes even shows that that's what you, how you believe God is treating you. Like people that believe their God is loving, their God is caring. Yeah, they are suffering unnecessarily. But you never allow your own child, your own children, even though you are poor. Even though the system made you poor. Even though the system taught you to be wicked, even to your own children. But you are not that wicked because it is not in you. You are not evil. None of us, we are born evil. None of us, we are born wicked. No. It is land. It is cost. It is thought. And you see many of us grew up with that mentality. Look at the Christian family and you see how the parents treat their children. They are actually treating their children according to the wicked God they read in the Bible. That's how they are treating their children. Treating their children like their property, treating their children like slaves, treating their children like, you know, I will never let you go until death, do us part. No, it should not be so. Parental care, you take care of your parents. You know, you, you see how you go, uh, I mean, you watch your, your child or children behaving in the school. Then if you find out they're not doing well, you see how you are, you're worried let me use that word worried, but it means you really care. You want your children to do good at whatever they are and do better. You see, some maybe they're having issue in school. You see, you, some of you call out from the job or leave whatever you are doing, no matter how important that work is, and you go to represent your child or, or to know what is going on uh, with your child in the school. You don't want your child to suffer. You don't want your child to be maltreated. You don't want your child to be killed. You show them that parental care. I am there for you. I am your father. I am there for you. I am your mother. And the children can see that. It's unfortunate that not every parent do that. Yes, having a child make you a parent. But are you taking care of that child? That's what will make you a caring parent. Some parents are, don't care. About, many parents, religion made many parents, they don't care about their children. What they care is about their faith, about their religion, about what benefit them. You know, oh, their children say, I want to become this. They say, no, you must be a doctor. We need doctor in this family. You must be a lawyer. We need lawyer in this family. I want to become a parent or father or mother of a lawyer, a mother or father of a this or that. So you see the children not living their life, but living the life of their parents that don't even care about their feelings, don't care, don't care about their future. All the parents care is about their pride, family pride. You cannot have family pride from your child when you don't provide parental care for that child. If you provide parental care for your child, that child must make you proud no matter what. Even no matter how condition come to 
to wish them all, they will still come out good because you will reap what you sow. I'm telling you that. My own, my own family is perfect example. My parents cared for me when I was growing up. At a time, my life was twisted. But see how it, 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 it turned back again, and I made them proud. Except in, re, in re, reje, rejecting the religion they gave me, the religion they intro, in, 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 introduced me into, the religion, the religion they indoctrinated me up and brainwashed me to accept as the right thing. But I grew up finding out it's a bad thing because they were ignorant also. I'm not blaming my parents for the way they raised me up in religion. That's what their own parents taught them or the society taught them. So it was not uh, in their power uh, as per se to say, no, I, mu I must do this. No, uh, they forced my parents to become Christians. That's how they trained me up also in Christianity. My father never bought me a laptop when I was growing up, when I turned 12. They, my parents didn't buy me any um, something to help me learn uh, maybe some technology. No, what they bought for me is Bible. Bible. At age of 12, they buy the Bible for me to be confirmed as a religious person in the church. So th that's what they gave to me. Because that's what they taught them, that is the right way. That is the way, the right way you can bring up your child. So when they grow up, they will not depart from it. But guess what? I have departed from it. It did not work. The spell they cast on me, I mean the religious leaders, they cast on me through my parents, did not work. I am free today. I am no longer religious. I'm not afraid of God. I'm not afraid of any demon. I'm not afraid of missing heaven or going to hell. No, I am just living my life naturally, humanly, getting better every day. I'm telling you, there is so much joy. There is so much benefit when you wake up, I mean fully awake, and you are living humanly not still entertaining any religious belief if okay let's say my parents i say let's say but it's not true but let's say my parents did not care about me the knowledge i have now will not allow me to not care for my own child or for my own children no because i know better now i'm no longer a believer i am not ever many of you are believers because your parents were believers or are believers that's why you continue in the religion of your parents they taught you that that religion have not benefited you in any way that god you worship has not benefited you anyway but talking about parental care you take care of your of your child or children you want them to pass in their school you do do good or do better or do well in their school now you, you they get sick maybe they said they're having diarrhea or something like this you leave what you left you leave whatever you are doing and rush to wherever they are to make sure they are uh, they are well they make to make sure they are taken care of parental care some of you you can't sleep uh, in the night because of your child or because of your children you want to make sure they are well if they cannot breathe well, you say what you must find out. You must find out what will happen for them to be well. Some of you will call the doctor or rush them to a doctor or to a hospital. Say, I don't. My child is not responding well. Please, I don't want my child to. I don't want to lose my child. You don't want your child to be in harm's way. You, as 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 as, as weak as you believe you are. Or as evil you believe you are because it is the religious religious book that taught us that we are evil in matthew chapter 7 verse 11 if i stay correct he said jesus said if you being evil know how to do good things give good things to your children say how much more will your heavenly father give good things to those who love him but where is that god doing good or giving good to anyone let matthew chapter 7 verse 11 teach you something you that believe in jesus you that believe in god that there is god that love you jesus said if you've been evil although you are not evil you are victim you have been victimized you have been indoctrinated and brainwashed that's what made you a victim it's not by choice it's by force they force you to become a victim and you being a victim or being evil you know how to provide good things for your children where is the god you believe in where is this jesus you worship where is this god you you worship providing for you where is that godly care you are the one that is still doing godly care 
You are, you are the one that is still doing parental care. You are doing all these things. Yet you are giving glory to one stupid God that has not shown up. If that God you believe in exists as a parent, why are you running a task about your child? After you have prayed and committed that child into the hand of God, God is supposed to take care of that problem of your child without you running a task to be there or to care about that child. If you can have sleepless nights because of your newborn or because of your child, you don't want to hear any bad news about your child. Why can't God do better? Why can't God do better? Last night, I was about to go. The new people coming to work. This Jamaican lady greeted a Nigerian, wo uh, Nigerian woman. He said, how are you doing? The Nigerian one uh, responded, praising God. I, I start laughing. I say, oh, black people, you have God problem. Yes, black people have God problem everywhere. The reason why black people are still suffering the way they're suffering today is called God problem. They are waiting for God to come and punish their oppressors. They are waiting for God to come and help them. They are waiting for a savior to come and do something for them. Instead of them rising up and to know that they are the ones that are supposed to take care of themselves. There's no God coming to do this or that for them. Black people have God problem. If you parents can take care of your own child, there's no parent that in, in her own clear mind that will do any bad thing to his or her child. No, no. You have, that parents have to be under influence, strange influence, bad influence for that parents to do any bad thing or to neglect or to ignore their own child. But look at God, who's supposed to be almighty all knowing and it's supposed to be everywhere where was god when your child suffered some of you your child has died some of you your own child or children are now in the hospital like in america many christians many believers regardless of their faith have died of coronavirus where is this god they have been worshiping and you still see them every sunday they will worship everywhere they have their bible they have their book saying this god loved them god loves you god what has god loves you done for you tell me one thing saying god loves you does not solve your problem you carry your problem to church or to religious gathering you say god loves me you worship that god you still go back with that problem you still have to solve that problem it is time you solve that your major problem is god problem that's why i say at the root of our problem as a people black people africans it is religion religion is belief in a god spring being that created and did control all things god did not create anything that's why he cannot control anything do you see god controlling anything in this world no it is people controlling things in this world you have to wake up my people and think for yourself that's why you have your own brain you have your own mind that mind connects you to the universe and you have your own brain to think you can if you can incubate that idea in your mind you can bring it forth and when you bring it forth it becomes a reality we don't need that those abstract dreams no trash abstract dreams we need real dream dream you can say if i do this do this it will work you try it even if it did not work the first time you keep trying until it work that's what is called dream dream is not that you just sleep you start seeing things you cannot if you cannot understand it when you wake up trust it if you cannot trust it if it's if you can understand it then walk with it and see or walk at it and see how you will become a blessing to yourself and blessing to others because we all we are born to be blessings no none of us we are born to be cause i think tomorrow morning when i'm coming back from work i will i will do a video on parental cause but this one is parental care if you parents can take care of your child how about your heavenly father where is he according to job chapter 9 verse 23 he's sitting there there in heaven as an old man ancient of days laughing at your plight it is time you trash that god stop lying to yourself especially you africans they tell you no matter what you, tell, you talk good about your parents no you don't talk good about your parents when they don't care about you when they are evil you don't do that oh yes no about me if my mother cook a soup that is not good i will say it's not good and i will not eat it i will go to another place either to restaurant and buy soup and eat let us stop deceiving and lying our to ourselves religion mess us up but we can make ourselves good again